Question number seven, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. As a speaker, this question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, does he stand by all his statements on silver fern farms, and if so, why? Regarding silver fern farms, the Honourable Bill uh, English. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, in the context in which I remain. Supplementary, Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. How can he stand by his comment that farmers should put their money where their mouth is, when farmers thought they were getting a 261 million investment, but that's instead going into a separate company controlled by a Chinese state-owned enterprise. Oh, the Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's um, not the, the commercial arrangements between the investors are not really the government's business. I have noticed, though, that a number of uh, hardened, long-term shareholders in silver fern farms, many of whom I used to represent, turned up to meetings and voted overwhelmingly in favour of the transaction. And I prefer to back, I prefer to back their judgment on it over the members. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right, Honourable Winston Peters. What substantial and identifiable benefit is there from the Chinese paying only? 57 million for silver fern farms, when silver fern farms has announced revenues of 2.45 billion, a 28% surge in operating profit to 86.9 million, and a reduction in debt of 168 million. Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr. Speaker, as the member has, I mean, getting into a discussion with him about the accounting would be, I think, as the member used to say. Uh, going into a battle of wits with a one-armed opponent. Um, so I don't, intend to do, I don't intend to do that. I don't intend to do that. I think we can rely on the correct processes, and that is the shareholders who, after all, have a more vital interest in this than we do, who have supported the, the transaction, and the Overseas Investment Act uh, and its screening regime through which the transaction will need to pass. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right, Honourable Winston. Uh, how is it possible that Silver Fern Farms, a code company, is allowed to sell half of its share backed assets without a special resolution to shareholders, and the sale of half of our largest meat exporter is not a major financial transaction as defined in the Companies Act? Insofar as there may be some ministerial responsibility, the Honourable Bill uh, English. Well, Mr. Speaker, in the same way, uh, having a duel over the accounting might not work. I suspect. Order. Yeah. Order. Yeah. Order. Order. Speaker. David yeah. Bennett. The Speaker. This is up order. I haven't, I called, the I haven't yes. called the member yet. Point of order, the Right Honourable Speaker. I suspect we're beginning to hear a repeat of the insult in the last supplementary question, and the minister's, in terms of the minister's answer, and he's not allowed to do that. I just want him to tell me what the answer to my order, question is. Order. And I'm quite keen to hear the answer as well, but I do point out both this question and the previous one, it's difficult for me to actually decipher the responsibility for the Minister of Finance in regard to that matter. I've allowed the questions to be asked, and now both of us should wait for the answer. The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, in the same way as the um, discussion between myself and the member about the accounting may be fruitless, I suspect that a discussion between us about the legal definitions applied to the transaction might be fruitless. I can't help thinking he's heading, the, heading in the direction of the uh, you know, ferry bottom that's scraped, cooked straight. Order. Uh, where Order. That's not going <laughs> to help. <laughs> Order. Order. I never said that his bottom was scraped by Order. anybody. <laughs> And I haven't been here that long either. Would the member now ask a supplementary question? Supplementary, supplementary question, question, right honourable Winston <laughs> Peters. Uh, will the government now investigate this legally questionable deal designed by Goldman Sachs, along with the seven million payment to Silver Firms Farm Board, which given its announcement profit announcement, smells to high heaven? If not, why not? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, no. Uh, the parties to the deal have every incentive to ensure that it's a good deal uh, and actually every incentive to ensure that it's lawful. Uh, I'm quite sure that bankers, accountants, shareholders, uh, company directors uh, have an interest in complying with the law. That member may have more wild allegations, as has been his want, 
uh, but we found from experience it's best that those are tested properly. Point of order, right honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr. Speaker, with the greatest respect, uh, I'm relying upon your own rulings on this matter. He should be not he should not be allowed to do a detour or a roadblock on his answers by insulting the questioner. I asked him a plain question. Order. No, the member asked two questions, and the first one was answered immediately. Will there be an investigation? And the second supplementary question, which, in my generosity, I allowed to go through, was, if not, why not? I do accept the member's final point, though, where the minister was then going with the last part of his answer, is not going to add to the order of this house. Supplementary, supplementary question, the honourable Damien. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the minister, how will the national government ensure the benefits claimed? by Shanghai Mailing when it takes over silver fern farms will be delivered given the absence of any overseas investment office reports to assess the merits of any other overseas business investment in New Zealand. The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, in the first place, the best monitors of the benefit will be the shareholders and the suppliers of silver fern farms who from my knowledge of them, apply a forensic and intense scrutiny right. to, everything that, to everything that the company does. Uh, secondly, it is part of the role of the Overseas Investment Office to monitor investments and, uh, after, after the fact, and they will be doing so in this case. Question, order. Question number.